And another thing, that's Star Wars. <laughs> No, when you got you got you get your Marvel and you get your Star Wars and you get your Potter and then you know they all come together and there you go. All right. So I've been ranting for the last two and a half months on that. It's it's worth going back and uh, seeing what rides we lost in the past ten years because we're in 2020 now, whole new decade. Hey, welcome. So 2020. Let's take a look at what we lost from 2010 to 2019. Oh, decade retrospective. Yeah, this is a little in memoriam sort of too. Ah. Now this isn't everything. I'm just gonna point out the highlights. I guess pretty much. Okay, so, you know, if your favorite ride is not on this list, uh, be offended. <laughs> because we didn't think enough of it to include it. Yes, write us. Let yeah. us know. <laughs> write us. Yeah, we'll do another thanks for writing one day, perhaps. Yeah, it's 2020. We're still going. We're even surprised. I, yeah. <laughs> it's like, do? what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, the studio is uh, it's, it's in flux for... Yes, and it will be in flux for the next bunch of months. Yeah, you'll be hearing us in different environments. Uh, you probably won't know or give a shit, but <laughs> we'll be doing the show from different spots uh, over the course of the next few months. Yeah, so sound quality will vary over the next couple of months. Yeah, until we figure it out. Okay. Uh, all right, so whatever. This is uh, 2009? No, I guess it starts at 2010. 2010. Yeah, I did everything. So it's everything from 2010 to... 2019. Yes. That's your decade. Yep. Cue the, whatever, what was the big song in 2010? <laughs> it's like, oh. cue that big 2010 hit. Coaster personality. I know the coaster of your dreams. Uh, this will be good too because, um, you know, I'm Mr. Arrow over here and I've said so much about Drakenfire and, and even Big Bad Wolf. But those are like not out of this decade yeah. that we're talking about. Those even the wolf closed in two thousand nine, I believe, eight or nine. So uh, we won't have to waste any time on that stuff. Stuff that you've already heard us talk about before. And so it should be stuff that we haven't really talked about the closing of, at least in any kind of detail. Okay. Start off with a big one. Sure, if that's how it goes. All right, so this is the order because you're going in date order, pretty right, much. So right, so this is this is 2010. At least year order. We're not we don't know exactly what day. It oh closed. yeah, yeah, just year. We're not that crazy. Uh, Great American Scream Machine at Great Adventure. Oh man! After I just talked about, <laughs> you know, I won't be hearing much about uh, Arrow here. Yeah. Uh, maybe you will. Maybe you will. Um, well, it, it might be bookended. I think more it or less. It might be. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> well, this one stings. Great American Scream Machine. That was 2010, huh? Yeah. That was 10 years <sighs> it's ago been now. been gone for 10 years. Yeah. Just about. Fuck. <laughs> that was one of the all-time greats, if you ask me. Truly was a great American Scream Machine. Mm-hmm. I love that ride. Yeah, that's that's a shame. That's That one's too bad. That one, of the three, there was a set of three that were all mostly the same layout. I think there was slight variations on a couple of curves. But other than that, they were the same elements in the same order and uh talking about shockwave at six flags great america and then scream machine at great adventure was the second one and then viper at magic mountain was the third one in that series i like scream machine the best i mean i never rode shockwave to well, be fair yeah so i guess i'm just talking about two uh between those two i liked uh i like the middle one the best i understand it was an it was an arrow it was rough for most people but i loved it and those just insane loops the first three elements were loops. <laughs> Besides the drop, they just hit you with three loops in a row. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a crazy concept. Like, they didn't vary the... the elements or mix no. them up too much. It wasn't like the first loop and then the other two at the end or something. It was just like three in a row. Yeah, it's pretty silly. The first one was so <laughs> high, and then and then you kind of you took a gold curve, and then two in a row after that. I remember those second two really shook you up. They each had that real that nasty arrow valley 
where you just <laughs> yeah. feel the positive G's. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, it was great. The, the first loop was like impossibly high. Yeah, and like impossibly like narrow. It was just yeah, yeah that's it. such a quick turnover. <laughs> ah, great ride. Also in 2010, we lost right. uh, Backdraft. Uh, so very different. A show, right? Standing standing room only show. Yeah, visual effects uh, demonstration. As we Universal it. Hollywood. Yep, Universal Hollywood. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. I mean, I was fine with that leaving. We did it a couple times. I don't know. That was okay. enough. Just fire in your face. I mean, it face. was cool. Mm -hmm. I think it was the better of the two between that and Twister. Oh, between that and Twister? Just because it's fire. I guess. I mean, it's just yeah. basic, elemental, just throw fire in your face for five minutes. <laughs> Interesting to note, uh, Backdraft is still open in Japan. So mm -hmm. you can still experience that ride. Wow. In this world. Really? If you want to. If for some reason you really wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, another ride we lost in 2010 was Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Oh, okay. All of them. All <laughs> four. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> the, the, the Disneyland one, the Epcot one, the... I think it was Paris and Japan, I guess. That was like the end of the contract or something. They would have had to put some more money into it or something. Something, right? yeah. Rick Moranis uh, was being an anus. <laughs> and maybe. Like, wanted, demanded more money or something or... More residuals for that. Uh, that and that was one of the best 4D shows. I, I really like that one a lot. Yeah, that uh, that was one of the great ones. They came up with a very clever reason why you're there and and why all these things are happening. They they really figured out a good story to to fit all those gags in. That you're supposed to be at this uh, award ceremony and then, uh, of course, wacky inventor Wayne Zelinsky shows up and wreaks havoc accidentally, not on purpose, but. It's just, it's, uh, it, it was in line with the movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and it, 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 the whole thing just, like, really made sense. It was Yeah, it, it captured the spirit of the movie. Yeah. And, and they got the actor, or, or all the actors, I guess. And from, the wife was in it, too, yeah. at least. At least the two of them. So, it was, yeah, it was and good continuity. One of the kids, maybe? Maybe. They got the kid with the glasses, I think. I oh. I don't think all the Nick? kids were in it. Yeah, I think Nick, maybe, was in it. Okay. And the dog. And the dog. <laughs> dog was in it. Quark. Uh, I do miss that one. Uh, you know, it's funny they they brought back Captain EO for all those years. Uh, <laughs> I really wish they would have brought this back, even just for a year or two. Mm. It's worth it. It was really good. Uh, all right, those are those are my 2010s that I have highlights from 2010. Okay. Uh, so moving on to 2011, Jimmy Neutron. Oh, Nicktoon Blast. Uh, is that right? Was, was that the full name? That the, I I kind of think so. It came Maybe. to mind. I must have heard that somewhere. And it did. It featured multiple Nickelodeon cartoon characters. Yeah, Nicktoon Blast. You're so right. I think that's what that came from because it really wasn't just Jimmy Neutron. And okay. That, that world. It also, uh, SpongeBob was in it. Uh, that's not a big loss. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's fine. I never, I never cared much for anything that's been in that theater. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> they still don't have a, a very good simulator in that spot. Nope. They've never been able to figure it out. Yeah. I don't know why. They really need to just tear it out and put something completely new in there. <laughs> yeah, that, the, 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 the Simulator Junior, just it, at least in my opinion, has never worked that well there. Yeah. Yeah, Hanna-Barbera, eh, wasn't <laughs> said when that left, wasn't said when Jimmy Neutron left, not going to be sad when uh, Despicable Me closes. Right. Although, actually, was this the one that ended with a chicken dance? Uh... <clears throat> Jimmy Neutron? It was either this one or Despicable Me. I guess it was this one. I think. Yeah, I don't think it was the current one. Okay. I don't think. All right. I think so. I think Best Side maybe was my favorite. Okay. I'll say of the three, because I still remember that. I still remember the chicken dance at the end, and I enjoyed that. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Because the the thing bounced up and down with the dance. Yeah. And that was like the finale, and that was fun. Yeah, that's different. Moving on to 2012, Disaster Transport. Oh, the classic dispatch master transport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a fun, silly ride. Uh, I don't miss it a lot. I, uh, I'm sure you miss it a lot, though. I don't know, a lot. I don't know if a lot <laughs> me, me makes any sense, but I miss it. Sure. It was a cool break. You know, uh, it broke up your day at Cedar Point. It was something different. Yeah. They at least went for a theme. 
Well, it was like almost their dark ride. It was as close as you were going to get. Yeah, I mean, or it was kind of their Space Mountain. Or yeah, okay. You know, it it always not I mean not always, but for many years now they've been calling themselves the roller coaster capital, and so it makes sense that they would have one indoor entry, oh, an enclosed okay. coaster. Right? We've done we've done that episode mm-hmm, yeah. a long time ago, and so it's just it's a category that they, that they don't have now. They lack. You know, not that they have every type of coaster ever ever thought of in that park, but I don't know. I, I do kind of miss it, or I wish they would have replaced it with something comparable, another indoor a ride of some sort. All right. Rattler, Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Uh, we never did the original version, so can't really say much about that one. It was notoriously bad. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> it had a really bad reputation. Yeah. Who the hell did that? <laughs> no, it was RCCA. <laughs> what? Roller Coaster Corporation of America. They did like Son of Beast. And oh, that's them. They only did a couple of rides, yeah. I thought they only did Son of Beast. They did five. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, never, <clears throat> never did Rattler. Uh, Roller Coaster Corporation of America is a weird ass company. Uh, probably wasn't good. I'm, I, I believe that one. Yeah, I'll trust the opinions of the folks who did write it, the vocal ones that wrote it, I guess, and talked about it being awful. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it was. Uh, all right. We also lost uh, Jaws in 2012. Oh, wow. Jaws and T2. Well, one of them. In, in Hollywood. Yeah, not yeah. both. All the Jaws, though. Uh, all, all the American Jaws. American Jaws? Was there one in Japan? I don't know. Yes. Uh, I think there was, right? Fun fact, you can still ride Jaws <clears throat> in Japan. Wow. So. And you can still experience T2 3D in Japan. <laughs> Japan is keeping the old Universal Attractions alive here. That's interesting. Which is really funny. They, uh, they love them. It's like, yeah, it's like if you go to that park, it's like stepping back in time. <laughs> <laughs> back in time. But not that, though, right? Didn't they? No, f- Back to the Future's gone, though. The end yeah. of that. Yes. That's but they, funny. That's the one. <laughs> but that was the one. That was the last one, though. The, the, the two American ones did go out before that one. Yeah. But that's like, what's with that? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, that was so bad that even the Japanese don't like that. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> like, I mean, backdraft over Back to the Future? But Backdraft is still going. On the two backs. <laughs> yeah. Future is better than Draft. Come on. That's 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 insulting. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, if I was Robert Zemeckis, I'd be insulted. But Jaws, I, I can understand why that was time to go. Yeah, that was one that, I, like, I always understood. You know, I, I don't even know if I really cared that much, actually. No, it wasn't the biggest blow. It was like, it was fun that it was there, but it really wasn't that good. <laughs> if you're really, if I'm really honest about it, like, <laughs> it was just okay. Yeah, you know, it was. I mean, it was all right. It, it was. It was from a different time. You know, it was a little dated. It was dated pretty quick, though. And with T two. T2 in Hollywood had a pretty short run. That's odd. It was the second installation, right? Yeah. That's weird. But that was just... Uh, they removed that because they're short on space. Uh, 1999 to 2012. Oh, okay. Not a bad run. Yeah, but that park just has limited space to put new attractions. So they ha- yeah. almost have to always take something out. Because that was a little before Universal started tearing things out a little more frequently. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that that's those are the highlights from 2012. So I guess there'll be a lot of Universal on there, this list. This there is, will be, yes. It's a big decade for Universal to be closing classic rides. Because that, right, that's when they really ramped up uh, their activity and, mm. and started shutting a lot of shit down. <laughs> How many years has that been here? Eight? Oh, God. <laughs> I know. It's ancient history. I know. <laughs> close it now. Close it. Close it. Uh, I don't have anything for, for 2013, so we're going to skip to 2014. Really? I'm saying, these are just highlights. This isn't everything that closed. But nothing notable. Yeah, in 2013. You know, no, no major stuff closed in 13. Okay, because that's like a rarity now. Because yeah, now it's like every year, so. pretty much, something else goes out. You're just mm. expecting it now. Right. All right, so 2014, uh, Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Uh, that was not very good. I, I mean, I think it was supposed to be a lot better when it first opened, but they modified it, right? Or they just break the shit out of it? Uh, I, I don't know. 
All right. I mean, maybe. I, I, yeah, we didn't write it in its glory days, I suppose. But we never even got a race on it. Yeah. Well, we only did right? one side, right? I think we've only, yeah, yeah, I think it was just the one side that was open every time we were there. That, that was not a, a, a big blow, I don't think. No, that, that was like a middle period Woody that just was garbage. <laughs> really. <laughs> it's like big and bland. Yeah, that was that period, right? It was like 70s, 80s with Woody's oh. that they just weren't that great. The big bland period? Uh, we, yeah, at least with Wood Rides, I think. Okay. Because it was like, yeah, there's like there's the classics, many of which are still standing today, and then there's like starting in the 90s with GCI. And, and oh, when, it got, when it got good again. A little bit CCI too. Yeah. Uh, you know, in a couple cases. Mm -hmm. uh, right, where wooden coaster action got good again. Okay. But, but there, like, there's like the 70s and 80s, those decades. <laughs> it's just bad. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, we also lost uh, Cyclone at Six Flags New England. Oh, the Brooklyn. Oh, that's still there. Um, which one? Six Flags New England. Oh, Riverside Cyclone. Yeah, 2004. It was officially just Cyclone, right? Yes. I think. That, wow, that ride. That brings back some memories. Aye. There were a couple of points. There were, like, I think two in particular where well, it, was, it was violent and it would really the, throw you into the, the lap bar and it hurt. It was insane, yeah. No, there was a... <laughs> the way you described... Was it the first drop? Where, where it's like... No, let me get to it. Yeah. It, oh, right, it, was, it was the second. Yeah. Oh, the second drop. It was the second drop was, I think, the worst one. Okay. And it was it was literally like skipping through time. It was like... Yeah. You're at the top of the drop, and then suddenly you're at the bottom. And like... And there was this weird jump that like hurt in between. <laughs> yeah. Like it literally... I guess you could describe it either as jumping the tracks... It almost seemed like the train did or you know in my crazy mind it was like you slipped through time mm -hmm. you missed a second or something in there because it was just like oh, pff, oh! <laughs> and it hurt and it was insane and yeah it was, it was riding that in the back car was extreme what, now was that the drop that they modified or was it the first drop? it was the first drop okay it was modified okay <laughs> yeah because it used to have more speed going into the ride as a whole because they oh used to drop God. more in the, in the beginning I couldn't imagine. And you could always see the original track and then like where they built track on top of it <laughs> so that you didn't drop as deep on that first one. But then that second one, and then I think the third had a little bit of that too. Mm. A second time jump. And then the rest of the ride just kind of played out like a rough, crazy twister. But that was a mean ride. Not surprised that it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Rhino Rally at Bush Gardens <laughs> Tampa. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Like, uh, opposite end of the spectrum. The there. ride that everybody <laughs> forgot about. I'm putting it on this list just because it was a unique ride. It was very different and strange. Yeah, no, this deserves to be on a in memoriam, I think. It was, last yeah. Decade. Bush Tampa jumped on the uh, the safari ride bandwagon after, like, <laughs> Disney did it. But, like, they wanted to do their own twist on it. Yeah. And came up with this weird thing where it was um, the first two-thirds or even three-quarters of the ride was like safari you go see animals but then i'd say about three-quarter yeah but then there was a point where you're supposed to cross a bridge right is that what it was it was uh yeah and then the bridge the piece of bridge broke away and you float down the river which sounds crazy just like thinking about it like how do you do that it's, well it sounds kind of cool on paper yeah oh sure it's like yeah. wow that's oh i can't wait to do that it was like a pontoon bridge, I think. It was like the, the infamous pontoon bridge sequence. And they yeah, the bridge, the pontoon broke away and float down the river and, and, and kind of twist when you did it, like you spun, I should say. Okay. And that's, that's about as exciting as it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was not like, very fast, right? They I mean, couldn't. Obviously, they, you're on a track the whole time. You're not actually in water freely. The problem is, yeah, the execution of that. Like, how do you do that? And then... I don't think they ever really figured it out, mm. <laughs> honestly. It was really prototypish. It was just, it didn't work. It was, and it, 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 it literally didn't work, like a lot. It was broken down a lot. Yeah, right. From what the, I understand, like a lot of times you would just bypass it. Right, you would well, never know when you went. You actually experienced the full ride, right? Like I got it, supposed it to be. I yeah, did, I, I didn't. I'm I got, one of the few. I got the shortcut where it was like just the safari portion and that was it. Yeah. I'm actually one of the few people that got the full th deal, and it sucked anyway. Yeah, yeah, it didn't. <laughs> it was better without it because it just brought you back to the station and let's go back on Kumba. It didn't look sakes. great. Yeah, no, because it was slow and awkward. Because right. it, it was just to bring to do it and do it in a safe way, like the modern safety requirements. You had a the vehicle had a park, and they had a park in like exactly the right spot 
it had a trip the right sensors that it was parked on this this ride raft but like it was awkward and i think sometimes it had to back up and readjust and oh, no. like it was awkward because it really was a real jeep that someone drove like for the safari right. part yeah that part was not on a track you know it almost kind of had to be all or nothing i think like the whole thing should have been a track ride oh, okay. or just don't do this bridge thing <laughs> yeah. um because yeah to do it this way it, like it had a park and lock in and it would take a long time, and you'd just be sitting there awkwardly. It didn't feel natural at all. It didn't give you the suspense or the reality um, that, oh my God, we're on a bridge and it's breaking away. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't get any of that because you couldn't. It was so delayed. And everyone's just kind of sitting around, like, mm -hmm, <laughs> looking back and forth, checking your watch, you know? And then finally, like, it would, like, disengage. And, like, I'm pretty sure you heard, like, an air pump release or something. You know, you'd hear some ride release sound. <laughs> it made it even more phony. And then, like, you just slowly drifted down the river. You were, like, obviously on a track. It wasn't thrilling at all. And that portion was short, right? It, it, and it was pretty short, yeah. You just went... I think, actually, what you did... I, I mentioned you spun, I think, you because when you disembarked, you were the opposite way, maybe? Like, you didn't actually, like, you were going to go, you were going one way, and then you ended up doing a 180. Oh. So when you disembarked, you were back, the, you know, to go back the other way, uh, but further down the river, the, f the fake river. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, through a canyon. It's still there. Cheetah Hunt goes through that canyon. <laughs> That's right. Uh, during one of its many parts of that weird ride. Uh, so you could still go through that canyon. But, yeah, you went down through the canyon, saw the rock work, and then you just... And then by the time you like were back driving in the Jeep, it was just like, oh, okay, what was that? <laughs> the hell was that about? <laughs> I don't know, it was terrible. Made by Vacoma. I don't think I knew that. Oh, really? The whole thing? Apparently, it's a. Uh, well, that explains it. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's a. Uh, apparently, it's a Vacoma Safari Adventure. Only one ever made. Oh, like that's they actually just offered that in their catalog. Apparently. Oh, you know that figures. <laughs> I never knew that either. That, I know that, it makes a little more sense now. But that makes perfect sense now. Yeah, it was just a ride manufacturer doing something that they shouldn't have done, and one company being dumb enough to buy it. <laughs> and that's like Bush when it was still not totally awful. Oh yeah, that was two thousand one when it opened. Yeah, in fact, was it still the family? Oh that yeah, that was even before they I, sold. I, yeah, uh, yeah. So that was just a bad. I mean, I understand what they what they were going for. Yeah, it was. I think it actually was kind of the replacement for the monorail. Now that I think about it. Oh. Kind of forgetting about this and coming back as I'm, as we're going through this because they had just recently closed that, so they lost one of their methods that you could see the animals, and I think they were trying to okay. get something else going, and this this was it, and then of course now years later it's there's not it's still just the train now, hmm. it's either train or walk it or you got to pay the upcharge for like the personal jeep tour, okay. but the idea of the attraction tour is not there anymore. Well, anyway, that's a weird one. That's a good one because that's like that's one that we've never talked about and like why would we? Right, yeah. And like besides this episode, this, this concept, I don't think we'll ever get to it again. So Yeah, probably I not. I think it's good that we did cover <laughs> this one a little more in detail because that's that's a weird one. Rhino Rally. All right, another ride we lost in 2014, Maelstrom at Epcot. All right, I liked it. Oh yeah, I always enjoyed it. Uh I, I guess I kind of missed that ride actually. I mean, I will, I will say, uh, it, it's funny, I mean, I, I, I don't think Disney will be on this list a lot, and we know that, we talked about this, Disney is like a museum in some ways, they, they just don't close things, really, yeah. for the most part. Or if they do, they uh, do an overlay, like they did with Maelstrom. Right, although this was a little bit more than, well, they kept the right system, but, I mean, Maelstrom, what, what that was is completely gone, uh, in, 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 that, in that sense, but... It's, it's funny because, like, a Disney ride does come up and then we just want to be like, yeah, you know, I kind of miss it. <laughs> so it's like, are we just adding to the problem? Are we also just as big a part of the problem as anyone else? Like, when it comes to Disney, we kind of don't want it touched. It's a funny thing. It, I don't know. It's Universal well, we're more okay with. But then it's like Disney and it's like one, it's, it's like a, I don't know, what is this, a C attraction or <laughs> a D maybe? Yeah. And, like, we're, we're kind of a little, um, oh, I'm sorry, it goes the way. A C or a B, I guess. C or B, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. doing it opposite. Uh, and it's like, yeah, it's like, we should just be celebrating the fact that they at least closed one thing <laughs> in the last 10 years. Because, like, yeah, it's some of those old things need to go. All right, all right. Um, another another one we lost in 2014, last one for 2014, uh, Studio Backlot Tour at uh, Hollywood Studios, Disney Hollywood Oh, Studios. shit, that's been that many years already? Yeah. 
And oh, wow. that one just kept getting cut and cut and cut. So well, that, that was like an act of mercy just to finally that, get rid of was it. Was that one of the longest, slowest deaths of any attraction? Like, it has to be. In theme park history? Yeah. Because that was just, yeah, right. They, they started killing that back in like 1994 or something and they never stopped. Well, it was like, yeah, it was constantly modified from day one. Yeah, just about, I think from season, yeah, after, like starting with season two, year two. Yeah, it just kept like changing and changing, and always for the shorter. Mm -hmm. Like they never added on to it, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, that was just basically a, a tram in the parking lot <laughs> to take you back here to your car. By the end, I think it was just nothing left. It was kind of sad. It, well, it became really pointless when Disney stopped doing any sort of movie production or TV production work down there. Which they barely started. Which yeah, they barely did anyway. <laughs> and uh, and then it just became this. What disaster canyon? No, catastrophe canyon. <laughs> Sorry, it was just it was just to or show off this, catastrophe canyon. This, as, <laughs> as the very young me, the first time he went to that park, said, "Oh, really?" I read the map and I was like, "Look, it's catastrophe canyon." <laughs> I'm pretty sure my parents laughed at it. Uh, I was young, all right? Did. I didn't know. <laughs> but I, that that was cool. But that's all that it was. Yeah, that's all it became. Just this one kind of cool special effects right. show. Well, off. it was their earthquake. Yeah, let's right. be real here. Yes, yes, <laughs> it was a rip off. Yeah. <laughs> it was a cool rip off, though. It was pretty. It, neat. Yeah, as far as rip offs go, it was okay. It was quality, yeah. quality rip off. Not as good as Earthquake, but you know, it no, wasn't bad. it was pretty cool though. And it was uh, outside. That was the yeah, and 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 then when they put in that giant stadium <sighs> for the the that half, yeah, half car stadium show, then it, it became a tour of that stadium. Yeah, it was a tour of the stadium, Cat uh, Catastrophe Canyon, and then <laughs> they still had a couple of rusting ride vehicles. Uh, not ride vehicles, I guess. Uh, vehicles from movies. I'm sorry. <laughs> ride vehicles. Yes. They had a Horizons <laughs> suspended uh, vehicle. And then there was a Mr. Toad's little car rusting away. <laughs> yeah. That actually would have been more fun. <laughs> I just came up with a better idea. Graveyard of lost ride vehicles. Um, but no, nah, it was a couple old cars from like Dick Tracy or whatever they still had. Like they were still harping on movies from the 90s. <laughs> right. And it was, again, it was just sad. So it, really that had to go. All right, so that's that was 2014. Moving on to 2015. So they finally closed that. Okay. Yeah. 2015, uh, we lost uh, Hurler, King's Dominion. Oh, wow. I could have forgotten about that ride. That, that was terrible. Not a big blow at all. But then it still exists, right? The Carowinds? Well, Carowinds, yeah. To, to this day? Yeah, right. So you can still ride at Carowinds. So just in case you were wondering or, or worried, you know, you can <laughs> still get it. Which is not that far from King's Dominion, too, which is kind of funny. No, yeah, they put them both kind of close. Uh, both equally shitty. <laughs> no, did we actually get it? We didn't... Did we get it? Yeah. We, we got it. Yeah, we got them. We got them. Uh, we got both of them. But both Wayne's World originally. Yeah. And the station was... I don't know. How was the station? Was it still the same? Uh, I think so. Okay. It was like Doll Factory? <sighs> I mean, we only did the Carowinds one I still remember. One I, just, I still remember when I finally... Was it on the show, actually, that I finally... Broke that news to you? Or is that just something we, we conversation oh, no, we had? We, we did it more than once. I don't remember. Oh, bro, oh, what the Dell Factory thing? Because it was actually it's actually where they lived. Uh, it's where yeah. Wayne and Garth lived in, in uh, it, the sequel. Unless you're a super fan of Wayne's World two, it's like who the hell is gonna just pick that up? So weird. Yeah, that that's what it was. Because I always thought that was a retheme. Yeah. <laughs> like after the Wayne's <laughs> World theme left, they made it like Child's Play two, <laughs> but like rip off Child's Play two for a second or something. <laughs> sure. But it actually was just part of the Wayne's World theme. That's so strange. Uh, but at Carowinds, they, uh, we lost Thunder Road. Thunder Road? Yes. Road, road. <laughs> uh, road. That was not very good. I remember... No, that we had a ride in the front. It was like, yeah, the front yielded like a kind of fun bad ride, but anywhere else it was just bad. Yeah, the back was it just hurt. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was not good. So oh, that was the same year. Yes. So it's like the only reason they kept their hurler was because they, in that park, their racing one was worse. Mm, yeah. Guazi also lost Guazi 2015. Oh, okay. Uh, that was awful. So that's I'm fine with that. Guazi was was terrible. Uh, Both sides. <laughs> I did have to. I had to relearn that it was a GCI. I think, right. In the last couple of years that that happened. It's so weird because it's not them at all. And uh, don't miss it at all. The odd thing about that is is that they're just finally replacing it. Right. Like now, in real time. So it, it feels like it should have gone a little bit later. Yeah. Like it should have closed in 18 or 19 or something. But, but I don't know, it was just so bad they just had to yeah. shut it down well, early. I never had to wait for it. 
uh, it was always like a walk-on. And, you know, I guess it was giant and big and expensive to run. And they just pulled the plug on it. You know, plus it's it's that that company, <laughs> Bush, whoever owns it, it's like they're still sort of the same. They'll pull the plug on rides pretty quick there. You know, they don't, they don't mess around. So, but that one, yeah, I don't miss that at all. I don't even remember it really. <laughs> no, it's. I remember like I the remember left hill, and then you saw like the employee parking lot, and it was kind of ugly. <laughs> and then it's just like a big mess of ride, mm-hmm. and it was never, never very fun. No. So yeah, I don't miss that one. Um, we're just shitting on rides. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, we're just shitting, we're pissed <laughs> on their graves here. A little bit. Essentially, yeah. this is great. <laughs> <laughs> we're kicking them when they're dead. Not even down, but dead. Yeah. Uh, another one we lost. This is a strange one. Hulk, technically. Ah! We got it right back, That's but we right. lost it, technically. <laughs> we did. Um, and you know what? I mean, I know we're not supposed to talk about replacements, but based on my first ride with the new version, I would have been... I was upset. I was like, oh, fuck. They, like... I don't know. They somehow smoothed it out a little bit, so to speak. Not quite literally, but... You know, they just... Modern B and M, a little better computer programs now. It just took the edge off somehow, but I think it just had to settle, and, it, and now it's fine. Riding it last year, last fall, it, it was fine. Oh yeah, it's better than ever. It's it's great. Yeah. So in the end, yeah, we got it right back. So this is not really a loss. It's just, I I guess it was necessary. I don't know. <laughs> I still think it's odd that they rebuilt it and it's not that old. Yeah. But sure, whatever. Um, also, 2015, we lost Disaster or Earthquake. Oh, man, a bad decade for disaster rides. <laughs> disaster Transport? Oh, oh, Earthquake. Yeah, the the last ditch effort to save it. Yeah. That disaster. The Disaster. Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> the, the main portion of that ride was still fun, but it, it was... You know, it's it's an old idea for a ride. That 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 type of ride, that thinking like doesn't exist anymore. Like you know, showing you how a, a film is, uh, how how special effects are done in film, and we're gonna get oh, a demonstration, yeah, yeah. all that kind of thing. That's totally done. So I, I understand news. why they pulled it out. Right. The it was always all about the main event, the, the ride at the end, and uh, I did like the last version, the pre-show. I thought was better. The pre-show was better. The Christopher Walken pre-show. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I always enjoyed that the, the actual finale. It was a little annoying to get to it. Yeah, exactly. You had to go through those two pre-shows. I wish there was a way you could have just bypassed. Or that. three, actually, three pre-shows. That's right. There was a opening uh, thing, and they had to pick the volunteers. Right in that room. That one, I again, I don't really miss that one either. I guess. Yeah. Wow, Universal. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're learning something here. So it's like Disney makes stuff that. It pulls on your heartstrings more or something. Like you, just, <laughs> you don't want to see it go. Yeah, that's fine. But like Universal stuff is is it's more like technological wonders or something. It's like you, the different PCs you've owned through the years. It's like you were really into it when it, when you first had it and it was the new thing, and then you got over it, and then the new thing came out, and you're like, oh, what's this junk? Yeah. And you threw it aside, and you got your new your new toy. Maybe toy as a kid, like as you grew up, like the maybe that's maybe a better analogy. Like you got your new toy every couple of years. Yeah. I don't know. Universal stuff just isn't as as timeless. Yeah, it's just or it doesn't bring up as much nostalgia for some reason. It's just a little more cold. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's just that smell, right? That universal smell <laughs> that you get when you enter the ride building and of it's like just propane and whatever. Else <laughs> it's it a mix is. of propane and like fog fluid. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> Just something about that. It's like, it's great when you're there, but if it's a different ride every time, it's like, you're okay with it more there. I yeah, don't know. I guess I, so. I think, if anything, the, their current direction with Potter will put that to the test. Like, are they going to be able to pull those out in 10 years' time without there being some kind of uproar? Uh, people question. with their online petitions and stuff like that that never work, but, you know, people will always try. And I mean, I'm sure, I think at least Jaws had a little bit of that. There was a small murmur of something when, when that was announced to go out. But for the most part, those rides go, and, and I don't think we're alone in that. That like Most people were kind of okay with it. So it's just odd. Yeah. Well, anyway. All right. So then, three. And that was the last one standing of the, of the three originals, which is weird, I think, in a, in a way. 
Yeah. Because it was the it was the most in that old style mm. of teaching you how films are made, which was became obsolete so fast. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, also, uh, we lost Twister. Ride it out. They closed two rides in one year? Uh, apparently, yeah. Wow. And uh, Twister was fun. Uh, I, I that was, That's definitely a ride I appreciated more over the years. I didn't really get it the first time <laughs> or two that I did it. First dozen or so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, the first, yeah, really, actually. Yeah, the first, like, five, six times. <laughs> well, it's well, first of all, like, ride or show. It, yeah. Like, what is it really? Special effects demonstration. Yeah, yeah it was nice. the other backdraft. From a technology standpoint, I think it was more impressive. It, like, figured in real weather from the outside to get the vortex to appear. And I, I think it was just, like, a ridiculous machine that they built. Yeah. That's, like, more impressive than the actual ride. Or the actual, the whole experience. Yeah, um, the pre-shows were fun, right? That was our favorite okay. part. We just like Bill Paxton. Well, that, yeah, is weird. Doing his thing. Awkward pose. Awkward pose in the, in the first. Actually, the second room did kind of suck. It looked cool. It, well, I was about to say, yeah. But it was just like voiceover. They themed it nicely, but yeah. There was yeah. no screens or anything. Nothing to do, well, really. It was kind of it was kind of cool the way they ended it, where they, they shut the lights and then the, the cast members had the flashlights to, uh, to try and make it seem like the power went out. Yeah. Um, and then the actual thing was was all right. You know, cow and cables never look good. <laughs> yeah. And the sign flying backward always the the speed of it was always strange. Uh, I thought it was cool though. But it was cool because it was like faster it, than it, it should be. Snapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I don't know the tornado was ever impressive. That was the problem. It was like yeah, the technology to to create that funnel is very interesting to me anyway. But yeah, but. The actual seeing it, though, it didn't do much for me. Yeah, because it's not that impressive. Yeah, it's like the floor drop at the end was more something. Simple floor drop. Yeah, it just gave you a little, a little jolt. Kind of brought you into it a little bit more than just watching it. And actually, when we did it the last time, when it was just like us and three other people, <laughs> and we got to see it in the front, like unobstructed. Oh, yeah. That was more impressive, too. You could see more what was happening and what they put into the ride. But that ride type, that special effects demonstration thing is, yeah, it's very old hat. It's nobody's into that. Nobody, I don't know if anybody really ever was into that. Well, especially by the time that opened. Right. It was kind of later on in, in that. And uh, it always seemed a little bit lazy to me, though, too, because it's, like they couldn't have a ride portion. Because essentially it was just another earthquake. Okay, yeah. But, like, at least there they came up with a way to have you trammed in and then... <laughs> backed out again like whereas here it's just you just walk in i don't know i couldn't have part of a greater ride and then you park and see the scene yeah i thought I that would have made it better that one actually i thought was going to go sooner that, mm. that lasted longer than i thought it would have actually yeah uh all right let's move on to 2016 ah so uh, second half now yep uh mean streak ah mean streak plus mean streak um that's fine <laughs> We never really had it. <laughs> yeah. Never really got that one. I don't know. Just a big dumb ride. Yep. Big dumb ride. Good lumber, though. <laughs> sure. That mean streak lumber. Also, Beetlejuice. The Graveyard Review. <laughs> okay. Uh, we lost that one. You can still experience it in Japan, though. Ah. Pretty much. It's not called Beetlejuice. It's called, like, Monster Mash or something. But it's basically Oh, the really? Same show. Yeah. yeah. I think they changed the name at some point. Okay. But it's essentially the same thing from what I read. Um, I never saw it. Did you ever see it? I never saw it either. Ah, there you go. Okay, so we're talking out our ass here now, but I'm still shocked that it lasted so long. Oh, yeah. You know, essentially it's just a Halloween show year-round. But apparently... Just a Halloween song and dance show. <laughs> it had, like, a, a following, right? Yeah, I think. A lot of people liked it. I think it. it had a small group of fans that were a little sad when that went, but... It was it had become kind of a cult classic in a way. I, I think so. But I guess it also had some mainstream appeal, too, because it wouldn't have lasted as many years as it did. Mm. But, uh, I mean, whatever. I didn't care about that show ever. And well, that's something... I never even really wanted to see. I was never even tempted, honestly. No, it never factored into my day. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, ever. And I just didn't care. And that's also... But it's also something where... I know it's not exactly the same thing, but you can pull up like a YouTube video of it and basically experience it. It's not like a ride where... 
you're not going to get motion oh. sensations just by watching the video. But right, you can right. watch a video concert of Beetlejuice Graveyard Review, and it'll be like eighty to ninety percent there. It's just not as loud. You're not in in the space. Yeah. Or but... it's, all right, and if you want to, you could blast it. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, yeah, no, and that's funny. That really says something because you know I've never done that. Neither have I. <laughs> I've never even pulled it up on YouTube and wasted like 12 minutes of my life and watched watch this thing. I've never done that. I've never been tempted to. I just don't care. Right. And I don't know if I ever will. No, I don't think I will. Even after this conversation. Nope. Fuck the juice. <laughs> it's just stupid because it's, it's, I don't have to even see it to know. Like the show doesn't capture the spirit of Beetlejuice. They just use oh, the character, it's, yeah, it's totally the character out of context, and then just use it in this goofy way. And it's just another thriller ripoff show. And it's just, I don't need to see that. Right. I see it enough during the Halloween events every year. That, you know, I end up getting pulled into one here or there. Um, we have, oh, well, we've avoided that one in that park. The Festival of Goons, what it was. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Academy of Villains. That's what you're about? Oh, that. Oh, I okay. thought it was Festival. I like my name better. <laughs> Festival of Goons. Yeah. I think for 2020, they should call it Festival of Goons. <laughs> but uh, it's, like, it's like, who cares? I still don't get why that's Halloween. And it, it I guess it makes more sense <laughs> if it is a year-round show, because it, it really isn't Halloween most of the time when that's playing. But I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I'm glad it's gone. <laughs> no, you're glad it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's just crap. I don't really need to see people dressed in uh, dressed up like Universal monsters doing covers of rock songs. <laughs> I mean, they may be good, they may be well done covers, but it's like I don't well, necessarily need to see that. You're right. I guess I didn't think about it, but I guess it, that's probably what it was, right? The cast, I think so. It was probably Frankenbeans and the yeah, Mummy it was just them and playing Wolfman rock covers. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, it's so cheesy. Yeah, whatever. All right. Anyway, uh, last thing for 2016. Uh, we, we did lose Wet and Wild. We lost the whole water park. Oh, well, it was just okay. I, it was fine. It's just, it's historic is, is what it is. Yeah, it, it's unfortunate because of that. It was the first modern water you park. You had a chance to save that history and you didn't. Yeah. I don't know who you is, but <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to there, but <laughs> right. we collectively as society had a chance to preserve that because it's like, well, I guess Universal, right? I mean, it's, they it, owned it. You, sure, it really. Oh, of course, they did this. They orchestrated the whole thing, yeah. closing that and opening Volcano Bay. But it's like you know, we're too far removed. It's too late to do that with theme parks or amusement parks. You know, just in general, uh, theme parks. I guess depending on who you want to listen to, which depending on which Walt you want to listen to, it's either Walt or not, or uh, Walt Disney had the first ever theme park. And I guess they both still exist, Disneyland and, and, and Knott's Berry Farm. So we have that uh, history, but, you know, first ever actual amusement parks, you know, those are all long gone. This, I guess, was less debatable. It's more clear cut and it was a water park and, but, you know, I don't know. Water parks are the bee parks, right? It's, yes. So no one really cares. No, nobody cares. Because I don't remember there being much of an uproar either. It was just like, yeah, they closed the wild, whatever. Um, yeah. right. I, I know there were some people, I'm sure, that did feel they shouldn't have done it or they cared, but... It wasn't a massive uprising, like, we have to save this. Because it was, ah, whatever. It's dirty lake water. <laughs> or in the modern parks, where at least it's all fresh water. Or not fresh, it's chemical water. Oh, yeah. That was me in chemicals any day, you know? <laughs> I want that lake water. 2017. This was an interesting year. It's a rough one. Well, we lost Dueling Dragons, or Dragons Challenge. Whatever it was called, right there. Dueling Dragons had already been gone. Uh, that, that's a pretty big blow. Uh, that's a rough one. I mean, first ever B and M invert to go. Oh, to go. Yeah, and it was that's it was crazy. It was really different. It was it was a very unique installation. Uh, it's 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 a shame that they couldn't find a way to the Universal couldn't find a way to keep that, but then also do Hagrid somewhere else. Yeah. And, and, and we've talked about that. It was before. great. Yeah, it was. It was pretty great. It, it was. It's like not my favorite invert, so it wasn't. It didn't like tear right, my heart right. out. That's the thing. Per like, se, with yeah, as far as being in inverts go, it was always middle of the pack for me. Yeah, but it was still great. At least fire was still great. But like, it's still a great attraction, though. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely. Like, it still but, sucks that it's not there. But the fact that they weren't dueling them for the last couple of years, it didn't make that right pointless. But that was. A pretty decent blow, I I think. That hurt because it, it died a little bit there. That was like half the point of the ride. Yeah. So yeah. 
That's a shame. What can you do? Um, T2 in Florida closed. Oh, they closed two great rides in the same year. Yeah. Wow. We and, talked about that a lot recently. And then, yeah, we talked about that a lot anyway. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that, was all, that was the best. Best 40. Yes, it was. Yes. Mm. We also lost Universe of Energy. Ah, the universe of uh, energy. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Finally closed that. Uh, that goofy song. That that really hung on for longer than I thought. Oh, longer than anyone thought it yeah. ever, ever would. Because all those facts and stuff they were giving you, that information was had to have been so outdated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was the whole thing of that ride. It wasn't like there was a thrilling portion to it or anything. It was all just like an information dump. And it's like, and if your information's not up to date, then what are you doing? Yeah, it was kind of irresponsible, really, when you think about it. But that was, you know, that was because the sponsor, the days of sponsors kind of ended, and then who was going to pay to up, update it? Right. Nobody give a shit. <laughs> right. I guess they kept it going just for that dinosaur part. Really. Yeah, I don't know if anyone was really that upset over this one. It, it was like Disney gave you more than enough time to, to do it. <laughs> yes, they did. I, I, I even got one more. On one of my times when I wasn't supposed to be there okay. ever again, <laughs> after I kept going back on those words, yeah. um, I did it one more. Me and me and dude, okay, I did it. Got to do it one last time in this last couple of years. So, wow, was that a bore fest? <laughs> 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 and and then once it became dated, it was even more awkward. It was like Ellen, like in the era of her sitcom, Ellen, like not today's Ellen, and then oh yeah, and then Alex Trebek. Like looking a lot younger, oh, yeah, and it was just like, wow, this is blasting the past. <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> it was, it's just, uh, it, it had to go. Oh yes, it yeah. had to go. I, I always just the technology. I thought was the ride system was cool. That was the ballet of those of the theater disassembling itself and then reassembling in another room was just really awesome. Yeah, that, to be a part of that but, was kind of cool. Other than that, because it was just it was it was like incredibly smooth and totally silent. Like I, I don't know how they did that. Yeah, actually. like seamless, it never yeah. jerked or anything. It just no, it just worked with the show while you were distracted with the screens. Just things were happening. You were moving around. It was kind of like the same cars as Great Movie Ride. It was it was a similar, similar. if not the same system. I want to say Universe of Energy ones were bigger, uh, but um, and now those both gone. So that's, but spe uh, that's sad. Good segue, because oh. we also lost Great Movie Ride ah. 2017. Oh, that was the same year, too. Yeah. Oh, so that's not a coincidence. They just knew they could stop ordering those parts <laughs> for that particular system. Uh, that's right, I movie... feel like we, we you brought that up. I think I already said this. Yeah, I'm just repeating myself now. Because, um, yeah, Great Movie Ride also, at the end, it become, it become the cars like made, went into like a theater formation. That's right. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty positive. I mean, maybe they were a little narrower on Great Movie Ride. You might be right about that, but I think it was like the, the same system. Okay. Same ride system. That was cool. And that's another one where it went on for much longer than I, I thought it would. <laughs> and and again, it was like Disney gave you more than enough time to, to do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Even that, that last ditch effort at the end, bringing in uh, Robert Osborne uh, oh, from Turner Classic Movies. They should have brought in Ozzy Osborne. <laughs> it been more entertaining. Oh, that, that was terrible. Oh, did you ever see it, actually? I, I told you about that. I, was, I think on the show, though. Yeah. He yeah, just, yeah. like, talked over the scenes or something. It just was awkward. Hmm. It was a retrofit in every way. Oof. It didn't feel smooth or natural. That was more timeless, though, the actual attraction. Mm -hmm. Didn't necessarily need to go. I mean, you know, classic, was, those are still valid classic movies. It, it didn't... The, the movies are... Feel dated in that sense. But... Oh, I thought it was really dated because it, it, again, it was like that whole era of, you know, pulling back the curtain on movies. Well, know. that, yeah. And then, all right, one more for 2017. This might be the strangest entry on this entire list, but we lost Dark Castle <laughs> oh. Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Well, okay. Out of the blue, straight out of the blue. Yeah, how do they you just mean, closed it? You say strangest. What are you, are you referring to the the fact that it was kind of untimely? That yeah, it's like, like an untimely should, death. Or yeah, that right should still be here. I, okay, I, it's weird to me that they shut that down out of nowhere. All right, but also the circumstances, or at least the rumored circumstances, I thought were also kind of odd. Uh, what was that again? Was it? Didn't they use it for a haunt? 
Oh. And then supposedly it got destroyed, or a bunch of the screens got ruined, and then they just decided to close it. That sounds kind of familiar. You know, again, that's sort of rumor. I, I don't know if that's really what happened. Okay. You know, that seems a little convenient. I, I kind of feel like <laughs> they just plan on closing it anyway. Okay. Maybe they already knew it was done, and yeah. that's the only reason why they used it for a haunt. Yeah, that just stinks. That was great. It was a fun ride. Yeah, it was never... It didn't approach Spider-Man level. No. <laughs> um, but I always had more fun on that than Transformers. I'll say oh, that. Oh, yeah. It was up there. It was one of the better Dark Red Adventures. Yeah, it was just amazing. I remember it at the time, and, and we've said this before, uh, too, where yeah, it's like, as does. soon as we did it, that, that first ride, both of us were just like, oh, my God, they did it. Like, they actually built their own version of Spider-Man. They, they yeah. really figured it out. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and it t- just uh, too soon, <laughs> right? I, too soon on that one. That, it's just incredibly sad that that company, that Bush, whoever's calling the shots, you know, just feels like that 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 ride was not worth saving. That it was just ah, uh, whatever. We don't need it. We'll move on to bigger and better things. We'll just put more coasters in. Which I mean, coasters are good, but it was a great attraction to to mix up your day and. Oh, yeah. And it was fun and exciting. I don't know. Maybe the ridership was down. I, I never remember it being a walk-on. It was always some sort of line. Yeah, we always waited a bit, a little bit at least. Yeah. I can't imagine it was that expensive. I, I just, I don't know. They just hated it for some reason. <laughs> Current management just hates that ride, I guess. It, it elevated the park yes. a bit. Yeah. You know, it made it a little bit more of a primo park. Brought it a little closer to those Florida parks. Um, such a shame. That's kind of a problem, though. Again, even going back to the when the when the Anheuser Busch family owned it, you know, that's been a problem with that that park. Or really, really both, I guess, both Bush parks. They've never really been able to stick with one of the technological sort of ride, the technology based rides. They always kind of they try one and then they kind of pull the plug on it early. Mm. They kind of did that with 4D shows. That kind of kind of oh, came and went. Yeah, those had the. Probably the longest runs, but still. Well, the simulators overall. The simulators they well, they they always been quick though to pull the plug on them. That's true. Well, the the Tampa one definitely. How long did that even last? Uh, it could have been long. Well, it did have a second version, right? Because it was Questor, it was Quest- and then it was Akbar's Adventure yeah, Tours, something like that. And then, like, yeah, the the Williamsburg simulator, Questor again. Questor could have won a few more years than it did, and then they they kind of ended that early. They had a really awful King Arthur's Challenge ride. <laughs> then they gutted it and put kind of new pods in, or new a theater version of the pod for Corkscrew Hill and the whole Ireland retheme of that area of Hastings. But then again, then that, that closed like really quickly all of a sudden. Like yeah. when I thought that still had life left in it, and then that was it. And then well, no, then they did um, the, the oh, they have done something else. Is they, that still there? They, or they, they closed it yet? The airline, like their version of Soren. Which um, came in Oh, went, wait a minute. That was just a couple of years. Seamus's Flights of Fancy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Seamus's Flights of Fancy. I forgot about that, too, in, until Holy just now. just blew my mind. I totally forgot about that. That was so fast. That thing closed in the last decade? That was already uh, done before 2010? I guess. I didn't make the list, I guess. I feel like it was even after. It had to. That, oh, that definitely closed. That only lasted like three years or something. <laughs> what? I forgot about that. What was it called? Like Air Europe or something? It was real. And a guy looked just like Seamus. From wrestling. Yes, yes, he did. He looked just like Seamus. I can't believe they didn't get Seamus. <laughs> it was yeah, it was the laziest title. It was it was just like Europe in the air or oh, something like that. Is that the name? It was just like yeah, Europe. Oh, you know, I just was that actually a pun? Did I not realize that for all these years? Yeah, right. It, it's like you're you're up in the air, like you're up in the air. Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh, is that what it was? Did I never realize that? Yeah, that that and, was the name, Europe in the air. Yeah, and I, but I, I don't know if I ever got that pun until this very minute. I never would have figured that out. It's your, it's like a pun on you're up in the air. Okay, that was, oh God. Yeah, that was 2010 to 2016. There you go. Oh, so we're in the right, no, no, I, well, we're in 2017 now, but okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll mention that. So that was, that was a shorter <laughs> run than uh, Dark Castle. <laughs> uh, that was really bad though, you're up in the air. That was terrible. Yeah, it, it was just, it was way too much what it actually was. It was just such an obvious Soren ripoff. But it was just done so poorly. Oh, it was, yeah, Soren on a really low budget. And, yeah, they just had a couple of fans that, <laughs> that were just in the corners. They were so noisy, you too, from I remember. see them, and, like, yeah. When they would turn on, just... <laughs> <laughs> 
And wasn't the footage like sped up or something? Like uh, noticeably bad though, where the cars were going too fast? At and... least parts of it were. I remember, I think the Paris section is what I remember most being, yeah, everybody was just scurrying around really quickly and it looked terrible. Yeah, it was, oh God. Or maybe it was like sped up, was some of it even reversed? I don't know, it was just, yeah, it was, it was so bad. Really terrible. So cheap and bad. Europe in the air. Starring Seamus O'Shaughnessy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now they have that Battle for Eerie, Eerie, whatever it is. Sounds like a video game. Battle for Ire. Ire. Yeah, all right. Uh, Where are you going to go? Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Corkscrew Hill wasn't bad, though. That was the best of, like, the past bunch of versions. That was the best that wasn't Questor. Yes. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it was the second best one. This, the, the CGI animation was pretty bad, but it, it was fun, though. It was at least there was like action and they a, did some sort of story. It was a good ride. Yeah, I like that one. Moving on to 2018. All right, we lost uh, Sinbad, the stunt show at Islands of Adventure. Wow, uh, that's uh, kind of amazing. It lasted as long as it did. That was a long time coming. Yeah, that, that was uh, that was like 108 in uh, <laughs> in attraction years. <laughs> that was old. <laughs> yeah, just considering what it was. And how stunt shows are are just done. <laughs> no one does stunt shows anymore. I mean, Universal is the only one. They're going to do the Born one. Oh well, is that really? Is well, I, don't know, I guess it's to be seen. Yeah, what we'll if, see. if it's more stunt show, more 4D? So that yeah, that's not a big blow. That that's kind of like what I was saying with a couple of the other ones, where it's like Universal gave you more than enough time to see that, <laughs> and if you didn't, that's kind of on you. Well, it's like now that ride, ride that show I have seen. We both seen it. Yeah, multiple right. times. Multiple times. So it's not like Beetlejuice where I never bothered. But like Beetlejuice, it's it's fine. <laughs> I, <laughs> I understand it, it was time to go. Mm -hmm. I'm not sad to see it go. And, and I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. Also, Bugs Land. A Bugs Land? In uh, California. This is our first adventure? land? Our first whole land that actually went by the wayside? I guess. I mean, it's the only one I have. It's been all. Here. Well, again, yeah. I, mean, I we know it's not everything in all of theme parks, reason parks, but. Okay, so the whole land. Well, have have they announced? Are they repurposing any of those rides? Yeah, one of them or they moved to Pixar Pier. The Flix Flyers, I think that's like what they the were balloon. called. The balloons on an angle? Yeah. The most unique thing ever, <laughs> right. according to us at one point. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that, that became an inside-out attraction. The rest of it, I think, just got bulldozed or thrown in the dumpster. Oh, those... The choo choo train and the. Oh, candy corn? Yeah. And the tuck and roll em buggies or whatever that was called. He's looking for candy corn in the dumpsters now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's just. Uh, those are the only. Dump other, that. Yeah, those are the only other two things. Choo choo train. We love We did it like three times, right? I think over the. Like every time we went to the park, we did yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, there's not like a ton to do in that park. No. So that's kind of why we did it. But it is actually kind of fun to go through that and smell all the smells oh uh, that's 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 the worst part of that then we lost choo choo train <laughs> yeah the c-h-e-w and then the, the, and those bumper cars were the worst oh that was worst bumper cars time. ever yeah yeah so those slow moving bumper cars they just you couldn't even forget bumping you couldn't even like get from one end of it to the other by the time the timer ran out yeah and i think that ride was not well liked at all by anybody well because how can you have bumper cars that go like a tenth of a mile an hour. Yeah, I think that ride was kind of notorious <laughs> for just being so bad. Yeah, they dump they dumped those, huh? <laughs> Junked them. Yeah, well, that's good. Um, so that, that was it. There was only three things actually. I think so. It felt bigger. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> I felt like there was more going on there, but it was really only like. Oh, oh. no, there was a ladybug. Was there a ladybug ride? Some kind of ladybug. Um... Well, I mean, I was there was there was you know stuff to be a bug. There was the 4D show. Oh, that's gone too. Oh yeah. Oh okay. It's all gone. Oh, yeah. Know. That's where the Spider-Man ride is going. Taking taking over that oh, building. Oh great. There was some kind of ladybug something. Oh Francis Ladybug Boogie. That wasn't it. Just teacups. It was like the um, the figure eight teacups though that like switched turntables. Yeah, figure eight style. Yeah, we did those. We actually did. We did do them last right. time we were we there. Did them. Okay, so we've been on we've been on most of those rides oddly enough yeah just not the flicks flyers the, yeah and we could and the one that's still there and we can actually yeah so we could actually still complete the series <laughs> well i feel much better now oh and it was like a spray ground sort of well those are never good yeah <laughs> those when will parks ever learn <laughs> right. just leave your spray ground at home 
Uh, okay, so... The theming was cool in that land. I, yeah. It was, like, the best themed area of that park. And oddly enough, that was thrown together uh, a few years after that park opened. Yeah, that was the first attempt to, like, save that park. Yeah, and apparently... Uh, I remember reading it. It was supposed to be, like... Or apparently it was, like, sort of a rush job. But I thought it came together very well. That's better than a lot of the things that have taken five years to build. Yeah, right. Yeah. So there you go. No consistency <laughs> with Disney at all. Just don't think about it. And just, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, maybe that's... They should always rush them. <laughs> rush everything. It's better. Yeah. All right. And then the last one I have for 2018 is Volcano at King's Dominion. Vol... I forget it. Uh, so... <laughs> That ride never worked properly oh, from day one. That was disappointing uh, when it was open. <laughs> so, right. I mean, I, it's, it was also disappointing when it closed, but... It's like, I get it. I get why they closed it. At the same time, it's like, I was never going to ride it without waiting for like an hour and a half anyway. And Yeah, that was always just a, a pain problem. in the ass. So, whatever. I guess it's just as well. Like, the launches were awesome, and that first inversion was great, and the rest of the ride was not very good. <laughs> it was okay, but it just wasn't what it could have been. Yeah. I feel like it never reached its full potential. Oh, definitely. You know, in the yeah. first place. And then the whole thing. Oh, yeah, we, we, we covered this one already. We, we? We've covered this, yeah. Because the whole thing seemed like it was going to not last that long. Mm -hmm. You know, they kept that original mountain, and it was always crumbling. It looked like shit. It looked dangerous, so... <laughs> It probably was even more dangerous than it looked, as far as it, it probably had to come down because I'm sure they would, couldn't pass inspection anymore. She was just rotting away. Yeah, so. I, I wonder if uh, if that ride was just in like a field, you know, would it still be there? Ah, it's a good question. It's, it's like what killed it more, like or what killed it first, the the crumbling, blown concrete mountain or the uh, the mechanics of the ride itself, which it was always kind of prototype ish and. Again, never really worked like it was supposed to. Never worked the best. Never had the best record of operations. So I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. But I get. Yeah, it's not shocking that it, the, the, that experiment finally ended. Mm hmm. It just it went on longer than it maybe I thought it would even. Oh uh, wow. So all right. So that's 2018. Uh, 2019. All right. So now this is stuff that just closed. Yeah. At the end of last season. And. I just have one thing, and it's Vortex. Ah! <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was a huge blow. That, that really sucks. Sucked. Well, that sucked. Um, that came out of nowhere. That was enough to only the second time ever that I did a, an emergency trip <laughs> to ride it out because I just felt I had to. Before that, uh, Big Bad Wolf was the only time that's ever happened. Uh, where I knew something was closing and just it had to be done. And you were with me. Yep. We both did it. Another Arrow. Uh, Arrow classic. Best of its type. And I uh, had to do the same thing for uh, for this Vortex uh, to hit King's Island in uh, in October of 19. Just had to be done. It sucks. that it's. I'd rather just live on for another decade or so. But um, I wrote it a shit ton of times. I think 14 or 15 Oof. over two days. Uh, even in, in the process of all those rides on that Sunday, met a guy who knows of our show. What? Who knew about who knows of Thanks for Writing. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> I know. We, I, that day I wore the shirt. Oh. I had the shirt, which I'm wearing right now. <laughs> okay. One of our shirts. Check out the shop, the Emporium. <laughs> There's a link to it somewhere. Thanks for writing. Dot com. Um, and he was the same guy. He I said he had a long history with that ride in particular. I think he's from that area, greater Cincinnati area over there. And uh, so he's he'd been on, going on that ride for years since he was a young kid. I think he may have met his wife on that ride or working. I think he used to work there too. Now I might be scrambling his story. If he's <laughs> listening to this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's, it took us a few months to record this episode after all that happened that day. Um, but he had a long-standing history with the ride, and, and his his thing was he was going to ride every seat. Oh, wow. Okay. So he wanted to make sure he got all, I think it's 28 seats. But I guess every train, maybe two. Because he was doing this like, through the whole month of October. So Oh, not just that day. Yeah, I feel like you could do every seat in one day, but I feel like it was a longer thing for him. So I think he was trying to get every train, every seat. 
Jesus. That wow. was like his personal goal. That was his way of honoring the ride and the that was his decision of what he was going to do to to end it. So that that was cool. Yeah, I, I hope he made it. I was like, more power to you, buddy. Yeah, like go for it. Like it's great. He knows what's good. <laughs> he knew Classic Arrow. <laughs> yeah, we got to talk about it. I, mean, I got to mention Dragonfire to him, and he knew that he had been on that. And that was something. It was really weird to see two like young kids that were maybe like twelve or, or eleven, even like they probably, were, you know, not that long ago they wouldn't even been tall enough to ride it. They're, and they're riding it on this weekend when it's going to close a couple weeks later, so they're probably never going to ride it again. That this is it. It's like first and last maybe for some of these kids, and it's just a weird thing to think. I don't. It's. Like, they're getting it, which is cool. They, they should, but even if they like it, they're not going to get it again, which is also yeah. kind of weird, kind of unfortunate. I don't think I, I don't know if I ever had anything like that for me. I can't recall of anything that I got on. Um, well, I, I mean, I guess we kind of started early in this, this list uh, some of the Epcot stuff, maybe. You know, not maybe coasters for me, but maybe Disney. And mostly just Epcot, where, like, know. you know, I did get on Horizons, and then it closed a couple years later. And World of Motion. But that's different. I mean, besides Epcot, though, I can't think of anything. Yeah, I just feel a like weird thing. that had to have happened at least once, but I just I can't think of it right now. So, ah, yeah, Vortex. So I had a very, very personal experience with that. Got to write it out in one of the last, I guess it was like two weekends after that, that it operated, and then that was it. I, uh, I did compile a list of Ooh. water rides. That closed because I wanted to separate those because it was it was a really bad decade for water rides. Oh. A lot got torn out. Well, we've talked about that a little bit here and there when we had yeah. to. Um, how just yeah, the, the, the idea of the the in park, not water park, but the in dry park water ride has taken a hit lately. I, I guess it's been a last decade thing trend of the last ten years. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy when you actually put the, a list together. Is, and it, see is them it even all. worse than I think? Well, all right, okay, so I have them separated between the types. So. Uh, Log flumes. In 2011, we lost uh, Magic Mountains log flume. They have actually two, but we lost one of them. They have like a the traditional log, and then like the the boat soft water or white water, whatever the, that was originally advertised as by Arrow. Uh, yeah, whatever that was. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we lost that one. Uh, the SeaWorld San Antonio log flume, Alabama Splash Adventure log flume, and the Six Flags America. If you want to call that a log flume. Uh, they're like Typhoon Sea Coaster slash Skull Mountain. Oh, that! Wow. All in 2011, gone. That's like a dream. That's a weird. I yeah. feel like that never really existed in real life. <laughs> yeah, that was just bizarre. <laughs> and yeah. I, I rode it like three or four times too, like a bunch. But yeah, for those of you out there, so if, weird. If you don't know that ride, uh, look it up. It was it was yeah. different. <laughs> Where they, uh, I guess it was a log flume. It was a different take on a log flume. Well, it was kind of a log flume shoot the shoots. Hybrid, yeah. Almost, it was somewhere in between. The boats but, were a little bit larger than a flume. Yeah, but the 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 gimmick of the ride was at certain points, uh, you would en you'd enter a turntable and it would spin you 180 degrees, and then mm. so then you'd ride portions of it backwards. It was a forward. and it would spin you round again, and you go forwards. It was yeah, strange. A forward backward log flume. Yeah, and I mean it it worked all right, but it was never the best ride. No, going backwards on a log flume was not. Yeah, it wasn't worth all the mechanical hassle. I think. Right, but the actual mechanics of it did work yeah it worked fine when yeah we were there i mean i think it was open every time i went to that park right yeah uh okay and then 2000 skipping to 2015 uh shoot the rapids at cedar point uh it, oh well that's a that's another odd one yeah in there but okay I, we, that's a separate thing uh adventureland iowa their log flume in 2017 oh really yeah did we do that uh i feel like we did i want to say we did but i yeah, it's hard to remember. And they tore it out? Oh. Yeah, for a coaster. Uh, oh, for the, the monster? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 2017, we lost uh, Kenny Woods' log flume, Laurent's log flume, California Great America's log flume, and Darien Lake's log flume. Holy shit. That was a bad year for log flumes. Oh, man. Okay. I'm just trying to think of a lot of those. <laughs> Laurent, we probably did not do, right? We did. We actually did that one. It was it wasn't good. Darien Lake, did we do that one? <laughs> Darien oh, Lake. Oh, we did. No, I, I think I so. It was in the front of the remember. park by the Moose Tracks. Okay, and the uh, the SLC. I can't remember. And then it was kind of wedged in there. I mean, that's usually a goal. You go to a park for the oh, first yeah. time. We always try to do the log flume. Uh, California Great America. I can't remember. 
So um, so the one that went out in 2017 was the loggers run, that the log one. Okay, the other one were, was already gone. Yeah, because I think. I think they took it out for stealth. Oh, okay. when. So those are the little boats. Yeah. Steam to little boats. That's the boat one, and the log one was still there, and that just went out too. Yeah. I don't know if we did it though. I don't remember. And then Kenny Woods is too bad. That was a fun one. Oh, uh, that was the only one that that maintained that uh, that spill water jump, whatever they called it. Another cool arrow intervention that didn't really work out. Yeah, it, it was the uh, we're doing a dip in the log flume, but we're not going to switch over to like track, like coaster track or something like Splash Mountain or Dudley Do Right. It's like we're going to keep just it, in the trough. It was just the regular log flume trough, just navigating like a coaster hill. Yeah, essentially and in, in one part. It did it. Um, it was, you know, it was kind of rickety and shaky, like you yeah. would expect, you know, from Arrow, but it, it worked. It, it worked. lasted right to the end. It was still going. Yeah, that that sucks. That's too bad uh, that they lost their flume. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many others had. I know Lascoot had it. Yep. And but they took it out. Uh, I don't know if any others had it and took it out, or others had it and then were removed altogether or whatever. But mm. there's more. Or we got more. Yeah, we got more. So uh, shoot the shoots. Now shoot the shoots. Not a good decade for shoot the shoots. Uh, all right. Well, what has ever been a good decade for shoot the shoots? Yeah. Because like when they went in, they weren't that good. Well, yeah. Because the majority are just the bare bones conveyor lift, a dry bones turn around, and then <laughs> down and drop. So uh, 2011, we lost Six Flags New England, shoot the shoots, Alabama Splash Adventure, and then 2012. Uh, we lost Knots. That was Perilous Plunge. The infamous Perilous oh, Plunge. Oh, well, that was a whole other story. Yeah. We did do it. We, yeah, we did it. We actually did that. We suited up. Or they, yeah, they, we got in with the 18 different belts and straps. Right. And we did it after the incident. Yeah. Someone fell out. So. so they strapped us in real good. And 2013, Holiday World with that Pilgrim's Plunge disaster. Oh, <laughs> that thing. That we did not get on. No. And whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Adventure Dome, Shoot the Shoots, 2013. That was weird, like inside. Yeah. Why do you want to get soaked in, in a casino? Well, I don't <laughs> a know. Bad idea. <laughs> in the hot desert? I don't know. I mean, it is hot outside. I get it. But you're in the dome. Uh, 2016, Bush Gardens, Tampa, Shoot the Shoots. Oh, that one. Uh, Carowinds also tore theirs out in 2016. 2017, Six Flags Fiesta Texas took theirs out. Uh, 2018, Six Flags Over Georgia. Uh, 2019, Six Flags Over Texas. Six Flags St. Louis. Oh, and... Oh, that was the Aquaman, right? Over yeah, Texas. Aquaman, Six Flags Over Texas yeah, okay. that they're replacing with Aquaman. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's not confusing at all. But then also 2019... Uh, Schlitterbahn Corpus Christi. <laughs> okay, I know it's a little bit of a weird one. So those are those are the shoot the shoots that we lost, and finally Rapids, Carowinds, 2019. It's the only one. Oh, or at least the only notable one. Well, okay, so well, so Rap they have, Rapids are the least likely to go still. Yeah, so Carowinds has no water rides now. They took out their log flume, they shoot the shoots, and their Rapids. Oh, really? They're, They're dry. Nothing. Oh, the first, that, that's, is that a first? Might be a first. First could of a major be. park, at least. Yeah, it could be. Cause six, not including not including parks that never had one, but like a, for a park to have had water rides and then eventually remove oh, all of them. No. Um, oh, no, 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 that's not true. Never mind. I was about to say Six Flags New England, but they still have their rapids. Never mind. Yeah, that's really unusual. Yeah, rapid removals are really rare still. Uh, Hershey really fucked that up. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I know we've discussed oh, that yeah. before. <laughs> they got out really early. Like, they just thought, I guess, again, I feel like they thought there was going to be a trend. Like, yeah, no one's going to want rapids anymore. Well, that entire thing is just stupid. Putting a water park in the middle oh. of your regular park is just nonsensical. The water park <laughs> that could have easily been a second gate. It should be. I don't know what they were thinking. It's a greater attra attraction. Her the whole town of Hershey is that people usually go there for long weekends. They stay overnight. Oh, I don't know what the hell. And that doing. park pulls them in, so I... and they do great numbers. We've done that on attendance lists before. Yeah, how they do great numbers, on, right? It's on like their own. The, the, the stats prove that out. Not part of a chain or anything like that. They do great numbers though, and like I don't know what the hell they're. It's what a missed opportunity. Yeah, and just to be clear, that that was taken out before 2010. Yeah, that's so not that's part not of this. Technically, not part of our list. Just but, uh, the idea that any rapids goes out always brings me back to that. Mm, okay. uh, but then Carowinds. That's yeah. That was not a very good one. No, it was not. It was one of the very early ones. It wasn't great, 
but uh, but still, yeah. How do you not have? Because yeah, you down in the Carolinas, you're starting to get really warm down there. And how do you not have any water ride? So then one other removal, 2019, and this is just sort of its own thing. Mountain Slide Winder at Dollywood. Oh, yeah. finally done. <laughs> That's a long time coming. Yeah, I can't believe it lasted as long as it did. It's it was basically a water park ride in the regular theme park, but like you would it was like a like a tube slide, but you'd be on these mats and you'd get pretty wet. No, it was like these weird boats. Uh they were kind of shaped into well, boats. It was like yeah. but they were like made out of foam rubber. But right, they were really flexible and Yeah, like I remember seeing on like a Travel Channel special years ago, maybe even Discovery Channel. Like they had to like make those every year. Oh yeah, they wore out insanely fast. They, they would fast. have to like re, like they said somewhere there's someone's like cutting foam and like shaping these things, and uh, yeah, it's just weird that it lasted as long as it did. And they had to do uh, a weight check. That's right, just it was like a water park very ride. Very finicky. I would have. I swore we would have won off that track a couple times. <laughs> Right, one time, a couple we, of times we did, like one, the two times we did it. One time we did it, and we really went high on that wall. Yes, we. Did. It was scary. It's. It seemed like, yeah, like it was borderline dangerous. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It really it harkened back to when that was like still Silver Dollar City and like just a quaint kind of a thing. I well, mean, Silver Dollar City, at least when we went, I, I'm not sure if it's still there, but they did have just water park tube slide in the park as as an attraction. Yeah, their like counterpart to that in Silver Dollar City in Missouri was this that yeah, was that, and then didn't Hershey have that too? They had that, yeah. Those the quote unquote dry slide, yeah. You know, but it was never dry. Yeah, it's bullshit. Um, Hershey had that. It was like Pistol Pete's plunge, I think. Was it okay. Pistol Pete's shootout? Oh, Something okay. Like that. <laughs> uh, I did that. I actually did like one of them mm -hmm. one time. I think there was like four, and uh, we did the slide winder a couple of times. But that was like the like supposed to be the best. That was mm -hmm. one again that was that had a had a segment on the TV uh, special that it was like, yo, you gotta come down and do this. But again, it was, it was from the very early days, like maybe right after it became Dollywood, and it was still kind of a backwoodsy park, and <laughs> yeah. you know, it just wasn't fully up to amusement park or theme park standards yet. And then the park grew, blew up around it, but yet somehow that attraction lasted as long as it did. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure even Silver Dollar City gave up on theirs, like sooner. Didn't they tear that out? Uh, I, I don't, I more don't know. recently for one of those other things like the Splash Battle or maybe. something. I thought they maybe did. I could be wrong. It could still be there for a long time. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that mountain slide winder. And yeah, you know, speaking of Silver, Silver Dollar City, I guess technically they did take the rapids out in 2019 or 2018 oh. even, but they're replacing it. They're, they're like redoing it. So I, mm -hmm. I didn't actually have it on my list, but you know, we're mentioning it now. So, you know, maybe you're thinking, well, all these water rides got taken out, but you know, they're still putting in water rides, right? Well, they're not. Uh, so the only new water rides in the 2010s, past 10 years, we got a Shoot the Shoots at Legoland, California. That was put in in 2012. All right. Well, they're keeping the Shoot the Shoots alive. That's and good. Infinity Falls, the Rapids at SeaWorld Orlando, 2018. Right. I was thinking about that in the back of my mind. And that's it. That's it though, huh? Now, Shoot the Rapids was put in in 2010, but is removed in 2015. Uh, well, that was a bomb. Yeah. And this uh, Shoot the Shoots at Schlitterbahn Corpus Christi, which is called something different now. It's not called Schlitterbahn anymore. But that opened in 2017, but closed in 2019. Oh, really? Yeah. Apparently there was hurricane damage to it. So they just, it's going to tear it down. God damn, the Schlitterbahn people just cannot catch a break, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Cedar Fair. So really only two installations. So really only only two that have lasted or mattered. Yeah. That's it. That's bad. That's a bad record here. It's a bad ratio. <laughs> that is bad. Yeah, it's and it's it shouldn't be. It just shouldn't be. And and the, and whatever is still standing, log flumes, shoot the shoots, rapids, uh, I guess maybe not as much rapids, but log flumes and shoot the shoots, it's like all of them, their days are numbered. Well, it's tough, you know, it's tough when you have water running over the thing, you know, purposely so. Yeah. And you see it at any park where you can get a little close to one of the flumes, I think of Great Adventure, where uh, the way they situate the uh, station for the the safari, uh, you get very close to the log flume. And you have to pass underneath the lift. You get though. like right under it, actually. Yeah, the, the main lift and drop. And uh, you see like it's really rotted out. Yeah. Uh, one of the 
odd bright spots actually is Lascoot at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. They actually did a complete overhaul where I think it might actually be almost all new fiberglass chaff at this point. Hmm. But uh, I think it's a bunch of years ago now. Is it like five years already now or so? A while ago. Five, six years already? But Yeah, it was like when they put in Invader, I think. Okay, they used that as the excuse and they actually went back and they like completely rehabbed, if not rebuilt, sections of the ride. So like that one, is, that, was a, that was a commitment to, to keep it and to put some, put the money in and make sure that they could keep it. But yeah, you have all these like this, the remaining Six Flags ones and even Cedar Fair. Like, I don't know if I can see them doing that. But that's where someone, and I know there's manufacturers out there that do sell them. Really though, if a park wants to put in a log flume, regardless of the manufacturer really offers it or not, like they're gonna find a way to put it in. They'll find someone to make it for them. Yeah, but that's just the problem. Like no one really wants to, I guess. But yeah. And it's like, why not? We've talked about this many times though. People, yeah. people like them, you know, you need it on a hot day. It's like, I still see that these things get lines. Oh yeah, people still love a good flume. So, well, I, I mean the, the flume and the rapids, you know, shoot the shoots, maybe a little less so. Yeah, shoot the shoots. I think if it's not themed, is kind of garbage. <laughs> yes. Well, that's so. what we've said, and we said this before many times that Escape from Pompeii and Jurassic Park are really the only two that matter. But yeah, yeah, but like, but rapids, you can get away with it being a bare bones ride, and it's still fun. It, it can be, yeah. You know, if it's done right. So ah, it's a shame. And even Lockham, same thing. It can be kind of bare bones and still be fun. Uh, so so that's the highlights. I I think. For uh, rides we lost, 2010 to 2019. So, on to a new decade, the 2020s. Hey, it's the 20s again. Yeah. That's exciting. Hey, it's the 20s. <laughs> We're all going to get our flapper gowns on and have a good time in the town. Um, yeah. Well, anything else? I don't know. It's been it's been a rough decade, I guess, overall, as far as things closing. But looking ahead, like I don't think this next decade will be any easier. No. Because it's just, you know, the longer you've the longer we've been around, it's the more you've had a chance to see things and experience things and then they they're gonna close those things. <laughs> and it's it sucks. But yeah. It's gonna happen. It is it's part of evolution. It's fine, I guess. We can't fight it. It's just uh look, I they're, they're still building great stuff, so there's I, that. Right. I was just about to say, I mean, we got a lot of great stuff in the twenty tens though, too. So Yeah. Uh Does it even out? I guess. It's, it's some weird way, sure. Let's yeah, we'll give a final salute here to all the, the dearly departed attractions the last 10 years. So long, guys. Thanks. Well, for them, it's like, thanks thanks for uh, thanks for giving us a ride or something. <laughs> thanks yeah, for okay. having us. Thanks for riding us. Giving us a ride. So there's some good rides in those things, but there'll be a lot of good stuff to come. Thanks for riding.